welcome to the Philippines Premier Motor Show. This is Autofocus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa. Here are our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A light-duty truck from Isuzu, the N-Series Smoother AMT and a mid-size SUV from GAC, the GS8 320T GL. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two seven-seater mid-size SUVs, the Nissan Terra VL 4x4 AT versus Toyota Fortuner GRS 4x4 AT. On Autopedia, we'll talk about the installation and tuning of a uni chip. And together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry. We shall have the launch of the BMW iX and 2 Series M as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus, and we'll be right back after this short break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of our electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Isuzu. Isuzu Philippines says it listens to its clients about what they want and need to have in light duty trucks and other models in its lineup. One of the newer members of its commercial vehicle lineup, the NLR 85 ES Smoother, meets a lot of these wants and needs. For over two decades now, Isuzu has been the number one truck brand in the country, led in part by its popular light duty N series trucks. Over the years, Isuzu says it introduced innovative features that made driving and operating trucks all the more comfortable for drivers and more cost effective for operators. Among the latest N trucks rolled out locally is the NLR 85 ES Smoother with cab and chassis that can serve as a platform for passenger vans, aluminum cargo vans, and refrigerated vans, among other uses. At Isuzu, we value the comment and suggestion of our customers, which is why we work side by side and check on their actual truck operation. In this way, we can come out with the best business solution to the customer's need. The Smoother shares the same hexapod design for the cab that maximizes interior space. The fascia is designed to provide good aerodynamic flow that should help keep fuel costs down. Yeah. Climbing into the Smoother is made easier with the vertical handles on the wide doors that open to reveal the convenient step as well as the grab handles on the door pillar. The seats are surprisingly comfortable and can be reclined for better fit. The steering wheel, tilt, and telescopes for optimal driving position for better and should be of great use to drivers over long trips. As we work closely with our customers, we try to assess their challenges such as driver's fatigue and high maintenance costs. With the new N-Series smoother truck, we are trying to address all of those as it's proven by our new automatic manual transmission or AMT coupled with our durable and very reliable Isuzu 4JJ1 TCC engine. This truck is very easy to drive, using only two pedals in its operation. It decreases driver's fatigue, especially in long hours on road or heavy traffic in Metro Manila. 
The seat provides good visibility through the expansive front windshield as well as the windows that slant downwards, offering a better view of what's beside and just in front of the truck. The large side mirrors also help provide a better view of what's around and beside the truck. The dash features high visibility instrumentation dials with warning lights and switches, perfectly positioned for easier viewing and operation. A nod to our smart connectivity world is the presence of a USB charger for phones and other gadgets. Many truck operators now track their units using GPS apps on phones. The smoother comes standard with central door locking and power windows as well as a radio tuner with USB connection and two speakers. Air conditioning comes as an option. In giving the NLR85 SE truck the smoother tag, Isuzu may have wanted to highlight its smooth handling and performance for a light-duty commercial truck. The smoother is powered by Isuzu's vaunted reliable Isuzu 4JJ1TC engine, a 2,999cc four-cylinder powerhouse with intercooled turbocharger and CRDI tech that generates a maximum 124 PS at 2,600 RPM and 354 Nm of torque at 1,500 RPM. That's power and torque more than enough for its class and listed gross payload of 2,610 kilograms. Those not familiar with driving light-duty commercial trucks will find operating the smoother surprisingly easy, especially with automated manual transmission or AMT. Isuzu says the AMT is a manual transmission with an intelligent gear shifting computer-controlled system that allows it to function like an automatic without the need of a clutch pedal. The AMT comes with Econo mode that can be actuated with a push of a button. In Econo mode, the gear shifts come earlier for greater fuel efficiency. The driver can also have some control over gear shifts by sliding over the shifter to the side and toggle gear shifts up or down. The MT makes driving in stop-and-go traffic or in hilly road conditions a breeze and less fatiguing. Aside from making it easier and economical to drive the smoother, the MT will make trucking operations more cost-effective in the long run. No more expenses for maintaining, adjusting, and replacing clutch systems. Suzu says the additional expense for investing in the EMT can be recovered in as little as three years of operations, all from lower maintenance and fuel costs. Aside from handling the vehicle with longer, taller, and wider dimensions, the smoother is 4,730mm long, 2,475 mm wide, and 2,190mm at its highest point. Also taking a bit of getting used to for newbies driving commercial trucks is the vacuum and drum tripe braking system. Still, the smoother can surprise newbies by how it handles bumps and other road imperfections with its multi-leaf spring system on both front and rear. This year, Isuzu, aside from introducing new and innovative products such as the smoother, to celebrate our 25 years anniversary, we will be shifting towards sustainability with programs such as ongoing eco-driving seminars for fleet, free on truck scheme, and soon, we will be introducing more environment-friendly programs within the year. This is, of course, in the aim to promote a more sustainable and eco-friendly route for Isuzu in the years to come. Isuzu says it is making sustainability a major part of its program for growth and development. This mover can be said to be part of this shift. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours. Suzuki Eltiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. Welcome back to Autofocus. We now have the latest auto industry news. Honda believes the BRV is perfect for Filipinos enamored of seven seaters and cites seven reasons for doing so. 
the Honda BRV is stylish, exhibiting a fine mixture of sporty and rugged appointments that give it an SUV vibe. That's one reason, says Honda. The BRV comes in a cabin space that Honda touts offers comfortable space for seven, while flexible enough to provide 470 liters of space for cargo, with a third row seats folded, which can be bumped up to 520 liters with second row seats tumbled. That's the second. There's a 7-inch touchscreen display that supports various multimedia functions such as Bluetooth, audio streaming, and USB input. Add Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to that on the range-topping 1.5V CVT variant. That's reason number 3. Honda claims the BRV has the most powerful engine in its class, a 1.5-liter mill with 120 horsepower and 145 Nm of torque. Made it to a continuously variable transmission, the engine allows the BRV to attain a fuel economy rating of 22.58 km per liter. Reason number 4. The BRV is chock full of passive and active safety features and driver assist technologies that aim to achieve Honda's stated vision of a collision free society by 2050. That's the fifth reason. Reason number six is all about BRV owners being treated to high quality but low cost after sales service to all Honda customers. The seventh and perhaps the most compelling reason is affordability. The Honda BRV 1.5 SCVT is priced at 1,048,000 pesos, while the top of the line 1.5 V CVT goes for 1,168,000 pesos. Mitsubishi owners in Lucena in the Quezon province now have their own dealership where they can have their vehicle serviced and maintained. The 64th dealership in the Mitsubishi Motor Philippines network can be found in a 4,000 square meter lot along the diversion road of the Pan Philippine Highway at Ilayang Dupay. The third Mitsubishi outlet managed by the Mizukuwa Motors Corp features a showroom that can display three vehicles in a service area with 10 bays. At the inauguration of the Mitsubishi dealership in the capital city of Quezon, MPC President Takeshi Hara said that people of Lucena can expect a wonderful car life journey with Mitsubishi starting from quality products and through excellent customer-oriented services at dealerships. Mizukawa Motors President Paolo Borromeo promises Mitsubishi vehicle owners in Lucena and nearby areas that the new dealership's fully trained service and parts team is ready to keep their automobiles in tip-top condition with routine periodic maintenance, other general jobs, and even collision repairs. The Mitsukawa Group also operates Mitsubishi dealerships and service centers in Banaba, South in Batangas, and Anaba Imus in Cavite. A longtime local distributor of trucks and buses, Hino Motor Philippines, has turned over 15 brand new fire trucks to the Bureau of Fire Protection. This represents the first batch of 61 fire trucks ordered by the BFP for distribution to various local government units nationwide. Hino partnered with FCUR Industries and Hansea Precision Industry Co. LTD for the supply of fire truck body and special equipment to be mounted on an FG8J chassis. During the turnover of the fire trucks, Hino Motors President Mitsuharu Tabata said Hino Motors is proud to help modernize the BFV fleet of fire trucks. Unlike the usual vehicle requirements for business or commercial use, a fire truck demands the highest level of reliability, Tabata said. Those are the latest news and developments in the automotive industry. We shall take another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes. To race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition. So you too can race yours. Suzu D-Max into new heights. Welcome back to Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Here's our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category on Head to Head. Mid-size SUVs, especially the seven-seater variants, are considered by most Filipinos as the perfect family vehicle 
offering everything from size, comfort, convenience, versatility, and utility, as well as status. This headset fits in a spec to spec comparo of two examples that we provide all the aforementioned attributes the Nissan Terra VL 4x4 automatic transmission and the Toyota Fortuner GRS 4x4 automatic transmission. <laughs> Seven-seater mid-sized SUVs, and in particular, those with 4x4 capability, are especially prized by Pinoy's as the perfect family vehicle. This is especially true for families that love to take road trips and holiday adventures to the countryside and need the space, capacity, and go-anywhere capabilities offered by seven-seater SUVs. Two seven-seater 4x4 mid-sized SUVs are vying to become the family vehicle of such families, the Nissan Terra VL 4x4 AT and the Toyota Fortuner GRS 4x4 AT. The Nissan Terra VL 4x4 AT came first and is 4,900mm long, 1,865mm wide, and 1,865mm at its tallest point, with a 2,850mm long wheelbase and a minimum ground clearance of 225mm. The Toyota Fortuner GRS variant came later and arrived shorter, wider, and not as tall as the Terra VL, being 4,795mm long. 1,855mm wide and 1,835mm tall. Both Nissan and Toyota tweaked the exterior of their higher-grade SUVs to distinguish them from their brethren in the lineup. The Terra VL 4x4 features a large V-motion chrome grille, quad LED projector headlamps, C-shaped daytime running lights, LED front fog lamps, white LED signatures, distinctive chrome center finisher, rear spoiler and shark fin antenna. Also added are body-colored side-view mirror with integrated turn signals and auto-fold and power-adjust functions, chrome door handles with intelligent key switch, silver roof rails and step side, mud guards, two-speed front windshield wipers with rain-sensing function, single-speed intermittent rear wipers, and 18-inch two-tone alloy wheels. Justifying the Gazoo Racing tag on the Fortuner GRS, Toyota added the GR badge to the mesh-type front grille with the bitone finish and the GR Design 18-inch alloy wheels with a machine-cut finish wrapped by 265-60R18 tires. It also comes with body-colored backdoor garnish and outside door handles, split-type LED headlamps, and LED daytime running lights with line guide, sequential front turn signal lamps and front fog lamps, rear LED combination lamps with line guide, sequential signal and bulb light black and chrome door belt molding, front and rear mud guards, roof rails and blacked out rear view mirrors with welcome lap that power adjust and fold. Nissan and Toyota fitted their aspirational SUVs with distinctive trim and accents as well as the premium interior features. Nissan gave the Terra VL 4x4 two-tone interiors, black leather for seats and burgundy red leather for trim and center console. The Terra VL comes with zero-gravity type front seats with 10-way power adjust and lumbar support for driver and 4-way manual adjust for front seat passenger. The second row seat for three slides and reclines and splits and tumbles 60-40. It also comes with a retractable center armrest. The third row seat for two reclines and splits and folds and tumbles 50-50. The tiltable leather-wrapped D-shaped steering wheel features controls for audio, hands-free phone, drive assist display, cruise control. The new Terra comes with an instrument meter cluster with high contrast 7-inch advanced drive assist display, intelligent key system, push-button engine start-stop. Power door locks, dual zone automatic climate control with rear cooler, overhead console with map lights and sunglass holder, 3 12 volt sockets, a wireless charger, types A and C USB ports, and bottle and beverage holders. Toyota added Gazoo Racing touches to the Fortuner GRS like the GR badge and the leather wrap steering wheel, which tilts and telescopes and comes with paddle shifter and controls for the multi information display and cruise control. The cabin also features suede and leather upholstery for seat and trim as well as smoke silver metallic matte carbon and red stitching accents. Driver and front seat passenger enjoy 8-way power adjusting seats. The second row seat for 3 split 60-40, slides and reclines and come with one-touch tumble function as well as center armrest. The third row seat splits 50-50 can be reclined. The GRS comes with smart keyless entry and push start system, dual zone auto climate control as well as power windows with auto up down function and jam protection speed sensing door locks, power tailgate with kick sensor, glove box, cool box, 10 cup and bottle holders, room and door courtesy lamps and two 12 volt accessory outlets. The Terra VL infotainment system features the Nissan 9 inch advanced touchscreen display audio, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth for hands-free calling and audio streaming, as well as USB type A and C, tuner, iPod, navigation and 8 Bose premium speakers. Also comes with an 11-inch flip-down monitor with HDMI input. 
The GRS comes with 8 inch display audio, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Smart Device Link, as well as AM FM radio, Bluetooth, and USB, voice command, and a JBL 9 speaker system. Underneath the hood of the Terra VL is a 2,488cc inline 4 DOHE diesel engine and variable turbocharger and intercooler that generates 190 PS at 3,600 revolutions per minute and 450 Nm of torque at 2,000 RPM. The engine is mated to a 7-speed automatic transmission with manual mode and a part-time 4-wheel drive system with 2-high, 4-high, and 4-low, an electronic locking rear differential. The VL comes with independent double wish modes with coil spring and stabilizer in front and multi-link suspension system with coil spring and stabilizer bar in the rear. The brake system uses discs on all four wheels, ventilated in front and solid in the rear. Underneath the hood of the Fortuner GRS is a 2,755cc four-cylinder inline 16-valve DOHC diesel engine with variable nozzle turbo and air-cooled intercooler that generates 204 PS and 500 Nm of torque. This is mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission and a 4x4 drivetrain that comes with differential lock with auto disconnect function. The GRS also comes with two drive modes, Eco and Sport. The Fortuner GRS suspension features monotube shock absorbers for the double wishbones up front and multi-link system in the rear. The brake system uses ventilated discs on all four wheels along with GR brake calipers. Terra VL 4x4 arrived with a fuller complement of Nissan Intelligent Mobility Driver Assist and safety technologies that include Intelligent Forward Collision Warning, Intelligent Emergency Braking, Rear Cross Traffic Alert, Lane Departure Warning, Blind Spot Warning, and Intelligent Rear View Mirror, Hill Start Assist and Hill Descent Control, as well as Intelligent Around View Monitor with Moving Object Detection and Off-Road Monitor and Intelligent Driver Alertness. It also comes with multiple airbags, 3-point ELR seatbelts, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, vehicle dynamic control with 4-wheel active brake limited slip, parking sensors, high mount stop lamp, anti-theft system with alarm and engine immobilizer. The GRS is equipped with Toyota Safety Sense and Advanced Collision Prevention System that includes pre-collision system, lane departure alert and adaptive cruise control, as well as blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. It also comes with anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. Vehicle stability of control with traction control, heel start assist, 3-point ELR seat belts for 7, with seat belt reminder and pre-tensioner and adjustable seat belt anchors for driver and front passenger, child restraint system using Isofix and tether anchors, child lock and rear doors, a Toyota vehicle security system featuring an immobilizer and alarm. There's a lot to like in both the Nissan Terra VL 4x4 automatic transmission and the Toyota Fortuner 2.8 GRS 4x4 automatic transmission from how they are spec and fitted. Fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Illustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Illustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Illustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions. The WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph Welcome back to Autofocus. 
the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine. Our special feature is next. The present and future of BMW can be seen during the launch of the BMW iX and 2 Series M Coupe. Check them out here in this special feature. This is the next generation 2 Series. It's called the G42 model. We're launching it in a 220i M Sport variant. The 2 Series is your classic BMW sports coupe. Front engine, rear wheel drive, short wheelbase, and it's just pure fun. This is especially in this exciting color, in this kind of trim. It's just a lot of fun to drive. That's, that's basically the whole package coming together for the 2 Series. It gives it its own identity. It also goes well with the whole proportions of the vehicle. As mentioned earlier, that uh, short wheelbase uh, coupe stands no, with the short overhang also to make it uh, extremely uh, fun to drive and to look very sporty and very aggressive as well. As with every BMW sports car, the demographics can be from the young to the old. No? It, it caters to all. But if you were to take a look at this, maybe specifically towards the younger first-time sports car buyer who would like to experience what it is to really be driving a BMW. What we have here today is the BMW iX 40 X Drive. This is the first introduction of BMW Philippines into the battery electric vehicle segment. This is the future. This, this is where I think it's going as well. So we're happy to bring this again to the Filipino market. The vehicle is now available on a pre-order basis and we can, you know, we're, we're giving out a very special introductory price to all those who are interested. And uh, this is going to take mobility to the future. four-wheel drive it has uh, basically 326 horsepower motors and on a full charge it will go 370 kilometers the pricing you were asking earlier it's 6.29 million basically 6.3 million and it comes with a five-year warranty it comes with six years of free service and it comes with your own uh, wall box charger and the installation as well of the wall box charger in your home so all that at a very reasonable price and uh, you can take a look later. This is uh, basically a full option vehicle already. Four wheel drive, it has 21 inch wheels, it has a Harman Kardon stereo, it has a huge, uh, huge screen which, which you can see. And then you'll also have soft closed doors, natural leather seats, the works. It, it's uh, basically a full option vehicle. The website is bmw.com.ph. The right now, RSA Motors in Green Hills and in Libis are the two authorized dealers of i vehicles. So your customers can come here. Uh, the car should be here uh, for a while. Then you can take your. Then they can pre-order the car, and we can talk about delivery after. The arrival of the BMW iX comes at a time when the country has passed a law aimed at encouraging a shift toward electric vehicles. BMW's EV may be on the upper end of a burgeoning market. Perhaps many would like to see more for the lower end of the market. Ambition. It's not a destination, nor a finish line. It's what you keep racing towards, to push, to the extremes, to race, race, race. That's when you find the limit. That's our ambition, so you too can race yours.
Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate as we have our second car review this week. More and more Chinese brands are challenging established marks in the Philippine legal market. This is true even in the mid-sized SUV segment. CarView takes a look at one of these Chinese challengers, the JC GS8 320T GL. JC Motor Philippines first brought in the GS8 to do battle in the mid-sized SUV market back in 2018. The GS8 had the classic SUV look and dimensions that slot smoothly into the segment. 4,810mm long, 1,910mm wide, and 1,770mm tall with a 2,800mm long wheelbase. Heading into 2022, GAC Motor rolled out a refresh model of its flagship SUV with bad intentions. The exterior upgrades give the GS8 more cred as a proper SUV with the larger intake vents with chrome trim and the front bumpers as well as the skin plates which are done in silver, the mud guards, shark fin antenna, utilitarian roof rails, and 19-inch alloy wheels strapped by 245-55R19 tires. But the exterior upgrades are more than just aesthetics. GEC added premium stuff to its mid-size SUV, LED auto headlights and follow me home function, LED tail and brake lights, LED daytime running lights. The power folding and adjusting side mirrors with integrated signal indicators are heated and even feature automatic folding and memory function, the front windshield wipers turn on when sensing rain. The panoramic sunroof comes with power sunshade, the liftgate is powered and can be opened with foot or hand motion, and the GS8 features privacy glass, something found mostly in high-end vehicles. Interior upgrades also mean business, that is to get more business for GAC Motor in the SUV segment. The GS8 Dash features piano black finish but accented with wood trim. The instrument panel comes with a meter panel with 7-inch strip computer. The seats set for 7 and 232 configuration are upholstered in Alcantara leather. The front seats are heated and ventilated and power adjust 8 ways for driver and 4 ways for front passenger. The second row seat for 3 splits and slides 60-40 and features lumbar support. A third row seat for two splits and folds flat 50-50 to provide additional space for cargo. The leather trim steering wheel is also heated and comes with controls for audio and multi-information display and cruise control. But this is not all the comfort and convenience of driving or riding the GS8. The GS8 320T GL comes with a remote keyless system that locks the SUV when driver goes beyond 3 meters with the key fob. It unlocks the doors so the key fob comes within a meter of the vehicle. The three-zone climate control system with ion filters ensures everyone in all three rows of seats is comfortably cool during the drive. There is a separate control for the air conditioning in the second row of seats, as well as a 5-volt USB port and electric outlet. Other comfort and convenience features include central door locks, center armrest with 220-volt power outlet, one touch-up and down power windows, front map and rear reading lamps, 10 bottle and cup holders, 12-volt power outlet and luggage compartment, ambient lighting. The infotainment in the GS8 is described as premium by those who consider the Harman Kardon 6-speaker system it comes with as high-end. It comes with a 10-inch touchscreen display, navigation, Apple CarPlay connectivity, Bluetooth, USB port, hands-free phone system. GAC Motor offers two variants of the GS8, the GE Sport 2-wheel drive and the GL 4-wheel drive. Both are powered by 1,991cc turbocharged engine capable of generating an output of 199 horsepower at 5,200 revolutions per minute and 320 Nm of support from 1,750 RPM to 4,000 RPM. In the GS8, the engine is mated to an iSyn 6-speed intelligent all-wheel drive gearbox. Paddle shifters on the steering wheel allow driver to have greater control over gear shifts. The GS8 rides and handles as well as most SUVs with well-tuned suspension systems featuring front-independent McPherson struts and multi-link beams in the rear. The brakes use the disc on all four wheels, ventilated in front. GC Motor has also equipped the GS8 320T GL with an extensive and impressive list of safety and driver assist features and functions. The GL arrived with 10 airbags, seatbelts for 7, Isofix child safety seat anchors, child safety door lock. It is equipped with a rear view camera, 360 degrees round view parking system, and eight front and rear parking sensors. Other safety and driver assist features include electronic stability program, hydraulic brake assist, hill start hold control, hill down assist control, lane departure warning, tire pressure monitoring system. For security, there is the theft deterrent and engine immobilizer systems. Overall, the GAC GS8 320T GL is equipped and designed to hold its own against the competition in the segment.
Among local car distributors of Chinese vehicles, GAC Motor Philippines is perhaps the most forthright about the origins of its vehicles and is quite confident of their design, build, quality, and reliability. Know more about your car and how to take care of it here on Autopedia. Hey, today we'll be showing you how a Unichip is installed, how it is tuned, and what are the benefits of actually getting one installed in your car. And here we have a 2017 Toyota Vios with the latest dual VVTi engine that already has an intake and a header. So we're going to be installing Unichip next on this car to get more power. In a nutshell, what Unichip is, it's a computer that goes on top of the stock ECU and we're able to program this to give different commands to the ECU that says, okay, give us more fuel, give us less fuel, give us more spark plug timing, give us less spark plug timing, and among other things. More advanced features are we could use this to control additional injectors to supply a turbocharger, injector controllers for diesel engines, nitrous control, and sometimes also map switching. We can have up to five different maps for this one, such as if you want valet mode, total shutdown mode, immobilizer mode, and all of that. And this is where Unichip is installed. It's going to be installed very, very near the car's ECU, which in this case for the Vios, it's hidden behind the glove compartment. So it's eight wires to install. On most other cars nowadays, the computer box is usually found in the engine bay. Like if you have a Civic, you have a Jazz, you have a Focus. All the computer boxes are now found inside the engine and that's where Unichip will also be installed. So the way that we install it is we have to cut and splice a few wires. It's normally about eight. Those are power, ground, uh, throttle position, crank position, mass airflow sensor, among other things. So every joint we actually solder and then we shrink wrap and we tape over. So rest assured that nothing will get shorted, nor will it catch fire. That simply does not happen. This is a Unichip wiring diagram, only we have access to it, the official Unichip installer for the Philippines, which is us in Speed Lab. In the Unichip database, there are over a thousand cars that have diagrams for it. It ranges from something as old as a 1996 Corolla 4AFA engine to the latest Ranger Raptor, which we're going to be available in a few months. So it's basically eight wires here. These are the eight wires that connect to the Unichip, then these eight wires connect to the wiring harness of the ECU. It's, by the way, just the wiring harness, not the ECU itself. We don't open this up, we don't touch this, so that remains as is. A little bit of history about Unichip. This has been around actually for the better part of 25 years. The guy who invented it, Peter De Vert, is Dutch. He currently lives in South Africa. That's where he produces it. I think he gets a special government grant from the South African government for that one. And then it's actually exported all over the world. Uh, you can check it out on the internet, you can check out all the reviews, it's there. It's Unichip because it really is universal. We can use it for pretty much anything with an ECU. Gas, diesel, Chinese, European, American, Japanese, Korean cars. As long as it's an ECU, most likely we can install Unichip on it. So there are still certain cars like this Toyota Vios. You cannot remap the ECU. You cannot change the settings inside the ECU. So your only option for tuning is with the Unichip. All right, now uh, the Unichip is now connected to the ECU. For this particular car, we're using the Unichip Q4, which has an additional four wires to control the throttle because all cars now have electronic throttle. Uh, what this basically does is it equalizes the throttle opening because with all cars nowadays what happens is you step on the pedal this fast the throttle butterfly opens this fast that's the delay that everybody is complaining about with all modern cars you step on it like this it goes like this so what the unit chip does with the throttle control is it makes it one is to one you step on it fast it opens fast also so resulting in a mas malakas may bat na koche. So right now, it's connected to the ECU, everything's working, the car's running, the engine is running, uh, it revs fine, there are no check engine lights whatsoever, so that means that the installation is done correctly and everything is working. Uh, with every unit chip installed, we actually put in a unique starting program depending on what the ECU is. 
Uh, in the Unichip database, there are over 100 starting programs for 100 different cars and 100 different vehicle models and makes and engines actually. So after this one, we're going to be putting the car on the dyno and we're going to be tuning it there to see what the final horsepower is. Uh, horsepower and torque actually. So stay tuned for that one. We're going to be putting it on now. Okay, we're done with the tuning of the Vios here with the unit chip and this is the results. This red line here is the baseline power. This already has our colder intake and our headers. So it's about 91 horses, which is actually pretty good for a 1.3 car. For reference, 90 horses or so is the territory of about 1.5 cars like the Jazz and the 1.5 Vios. This blue line here is after tuning with the unit chip. So at peak power, we're at 100 horses, so it's almost 10 horses more at 6,000 RPM. But the biggest gain here is actually, if you look at the torque graph on this side, at the initial step, there's about 6 foot-pounds here. This is even bigger, it's about 8 foot-pounds. Then this dip here is another 8 foot-pounds. So, and this is at the very critical 1,800 to 3,500 area where most of your overtaking happens. So the end result is a faster car, more powerful, a lot more responsive, and drive normally. Given this, you should see about 8 to 10 percent better mileage. So that's basically the whole unit chip install and tuning process. As from start to finish, it took us about three hours total from wiring up the car to putting it on the dyno to tuning it to getting out of the dyno. So it's probably less than half a day. And, and you walk away with 10 horses on a 1.3 Vios. For other cars, say bigger engines like a 1.8 Civic, it's anywhere from 12 to 15 horses more. For turbo diesels, we actually get 40, sometimes 50 horses more. The best part is, when you sell the car, you can actually take the unit chip out, install it in whatever next car that you're going to purchase. Be a gasoline car, diesel car, any brand, as long as it has an ECU. Your unit chip can be installed in that and can be tuned again, reused, make more power for your new car. That's our feature in Allopedia this week. Taking care of your ride has been made easier. And that's all the focus this week. We hope you have found this edition of our Electronic Automobile Magazine informative as well as entertaining. Check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. On behalf of my dad, Coach Gamboa, this has been your host, Ray Louis Gamboa. Please stay safe and healthy.